Hey everyone, Shadow Dragon has been substantially improved and I'm about to show you in another episode. Today we're going to play the Wooden Cavalry, Chapter 13. Raisin's here with me once again, back from his trip to the wonderful state of Utah. How's it going? That's right. Yeah, doing great. Yeah, just uh, briefly took an Easter vacation to see some family in the beautiful snowy mountains of Utah and Salt Lake City. But yeah, no, I'm back. And here we are in the Wooden Cavalry. Uh, I don't know why they call it the Wooden Cavalry. Personally, I would bring cavalry to this map. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have. Just... <laughs> I thought we'd be going for like, we're not out of the woods yet, but yours is better. Oh, no. <laughs> but no, here we are. And there's like a there's like 100 million ballista. I mean, like 11, but that's close enough, right? Mm -hmm. And I think even the boss is a ballista. Yeah, even the yeah, boss is a ballista. The boss is a ballista. He doesn't have a ballista. He is a ballista. He's one with the ballista. That's right. He's just... Uh, that, that's just how it becomes. I mean, you, you can't reclass out of Ballista and you can't reclass into Ballista. So I think this explanation makes sense, right? It, it like, makes sense you know. in a normal version, not in the approved version where we cannot reclass, but we'll roll with it for now, for sure. What do you mean? It's also true in the approved version. Like, I don't know. Like, well, no, one can reclass, is... no one can reclass out of their classes except like amazing units like Lynn and Dorothy. Oh, true. Yeah. Like, uh, wait, didn't you just kill Dorothy and that's how you did that? No, I would never kill Dorothy. She's she's with me. She's here with me somewhere. Oh, okay. Please trust me. Okay. I have her somewhere. Where's where's Dorothy? We have her somewhere. I, Find I, need, I need proof of life. Okay, there she is. Okay, cool. There we go. <laughs> she's Boy, I just you, you would have been. I just need another guy in chapter to deploy her. <laughs> yeah, you would have been crucified had that happened. Yeah, oh, for sure. Wait. Dorothy's missing. I might get crucified anyway because this map is uh, it's it's gonna murder me. Uh, uh -huh. I, I remember in the original game. The main way people play this map in Hard 5 is to have General Wolf or Setgar and keep everyone else back and just move them in and kill everything slowly. Of course, you have to roll in Medea to recruit Astrum, and we're going to do a similar, similar thing with Titania and someone that's not Astrum. It's an actual replacement. Mm -hmm. And we have to get uh, Martha's Village quickly before it gets destroyed by one of these thieves. And there's a recruitable character in there that was not replaced, but is very cool. So oh. we have we have work to do. I'm just... I think most of our units can only take one Ballista hit, maybe two if they're really lucky. I think... Gold Mary might be able to survive too if we're lucky. Like this Hoist Flam is 22, 26 over here. So an attack with like 26 attack would do like half her HP. It's close. And Gold Mary is one of the bulkier units. Like everyone else is like. Uh, Odin, I think, could take some hits. Titania could probably take some hits. Oscar could probably take some hits. But like even mm -hmm. Geese was like average bulk, I think it just gets killed in two. And since they're all yeah, overlapping like ranges, it's really tough to get in there and actually get a kill. So hopefully. Gotri can pull through a little bit here. Uh, yeah, even if you kind of like bunga in there all at once with everybody all at the same time, it's like kind of tricky. For one, like some people don't even outrange, but you know, yeah. now we're here and you have to like really be coordinated and decisive here. Yeah. But I, I do really like this team layout. I think it's pretty good. We got some uh, nice, fast, and bulky units. We're trying to like basically replicate this general sidegar play yeah. that you mentioned earlier. We, like, might, best we can. We might have to like warp someone in and kill some stuff. The tough part is um, usually a high defense unit is really good. Uh, but Astrum and their replacement both use 11 swords, <laughs> so it might be tough <laughs> to uh, have Gatry actually solo that part, but we'll see about that. Uh, the mm. upper ballisticians have aerospace, so maybe our flyer shouldn't be here. Maybe maybe Rosado should be in the middle group instead of Titania, but Titania has to recruit. So I don't know. Maybe I keep Basilio dig. can go? Or... Yeah, I guess I'll try that. I don't know how many hits Basilio Bilis <laughs> takes. These are, There's only two ballistas here that both, and only one of them moves. 23 attack should be like a... Th Four hit KO on Basilio, so maybe he's our he's our clutch play here. And nope. they do like they do move toward you to attack, right? Mm -hmm. Like they yeah, do some that, of them right? do. Like okay. this one, this one doesn't move. This one does. And in the middle, okay. I'm careful not to spoil um, the uh, Astro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Astro. Uh, don't move. Don't move. Do move. Don't move. So only this one moves. Which I'm not sure if that makes it easier or harder. I guess if we bait this one into attacking like someone on Odin Square. Then he comes closer, mm -hmm. we can kill him, but they he would still be in range of all the other ones. Yeah, or maybe we have a we have someone on Odin Square bait the shop, and then like everyone else is just further crept forward into the range so they can pounce on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll try something right? like that. How about we fight fire with fire and we forge our own ballista? Because I, I kind of promised we would do that, and I still have some gold left over. There we go, uh, let's do it. Let's, where's Jakey? I'm deploying Jake because we get an, uh, a Thunderbolt in this chapter, which will be effective against Ballisticians too. So might as well make him ready for fight. So we'll just get a little bit of hit on this. Some ballista on ballista warfare. We're going like first world war strats up in here. Like just massive amounts of artillery everywhere. Sure. Uh, do we have like little arrows? We do have little arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna draw one of those. There you go. Okay. Oh, can, we, can we make a cooler one? We could do like, I don't know, uh, less than equals three. I don't know. I'm kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> just a heart. 
Just a heart. Oh no, with the equal sign, it turns into a, uh, a different organ, but sure. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. I had the wrong mental images of what you were going for. Yeah, no, it's okay, Mecha. It just, it just right. means you're innocent, right? It's, it's so. an arrow. There we go. There we go. There we go. I lost really I dropped good. the spade. Really good. <laughs> we, can call, we can call it the spade, and then it's just, we just call it the spade because it's an arrow. Spade. <laughs> I dropped your spade. There we go. It's right here. It's, a <laughs> it's an arrow pointing to the spade. There was spatula. Oh, <laughs> the spatula. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Mm -hmm. They gotta introduce the story. Grust's artillery. Our opponent is mighty. Yep. Actually, this is the only chapter where we get this many ballistations mm -hmm. to fight. And there the annoying part is they also overlap between lanes. You have this little. It's like the engage map in the reverse, right? That that we call this called like the MOBA map. Yeah, like yeah. Snow, where you have to, these uh, avalanches coming through the lanes. I remember that one. One of my favorites. A really good map. Yeah, you always and have more like, maps. What? Come <laughs> on, that map owns. And then here we are. I guess like the artillery is out here in front of the ground troops. What is this like a Game of Thrones reference? To I just realized like what the heck? Deep I mean, rule. Deep. Okay, so this is the stone hoist that has 52 hits. So maybe we can kind of assume that this one is not a big threat and just focus on the ones that don't move and hit harder with more accuracy. Oh, these are stone mm -hmm. hoists too. We don't have to worry about them all that much. They never hit. Oh, they like never surely hit. they never hit. Okay. Surely, right? So like, like just, let's just assume that this is the real threat range to worry about then, right? That means we okay. can move people quite forward here and maybe leave like one person in range of this, like a likely target that doesn't want to be ganked upon but can take like one hit. So that would be someone with 23 bulk, roughly. Geese or Bartray probably works. Mm -hmm. Like, say we put Bartray here for a second. And then we move Oscar forward to try and like, get started on killing them. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, maybe, maybe don't put Oscar like directly in the line. I don't actually know this thing's moving. Okay, never mind. It has like, no movement. I was like, don't block him, because then we like can't have him attack Bartray. Oh, yeah. They only have four moves, so it's not that big of a movement threat. And if an enemy can't move, they actually have this move. Yeah, yeah. Like, zero move. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's yeah, makes sense. I, I was just uh, my my concern was misplaced. I thought these guys had like way more move than that. So fair. They do have high defense. Oscar with silver will only do twenty eight damage to this, but I think Wasilla can finish for if they have five HP left. Yeah, he does exactly mm -hmm. five, so he's fine. He doesn't even need to double, although he probably does. So I have some more bait out here. What's this range? Is this the one that moves? I think it is. No, it's this is what is this range? Global, oh, it's global range. Okay. Global range. I'm looking there for we go. The one that okay. doesn't move. Okay, there we go. Uh, Much better. Moving Hilbits. Can get Pindre you in there. Out. You can warp Barker Pindre... there, I guess. Yeah, Pinjari lives nothing, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, he's just here for Physic Duty, really, or Warp Duty, in his case. Yeah, Physic Duty, Warp Duty. Do, do we have Fortify by now, or no? I actually don't remember. I don't believe we do. I think we get that pretty late. Okay, here... but we have a lot of Warp Stabs, so... Yeah, we have a couple left. Uh, here, we have an Arrow Spade, a Stone Hoist, and a Hoist Slam. The Hoist Slam is the main threat. That one is actually accurate and strong. Whereas mm -hmm. Stone Hoist is only strong. And Aerospace, I mean, it is just as strong as Hoist Slam, I guess. I didn't realize that. But it is this actually something where, like, I don't think there's an Aerospace in the center lane. Is this something where we can, like, maybe even, like, warp Prezado in and just, like, have him kill this entire south lane by himself, more or less? Well, the or? boss has the Pachyderm, which just hits hard regardless of what you are. So I'd be a little afraid of that. Well, no, 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 no. Like, uh, Rosado, we would, I would just warp him into the south lane here, and then he just, like, kills oh. these three. Uh, right. I don't hate it. Maybe you can kill the kill the aerospace or just stay in the Eider, Eider storm basically. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, because this yeah these don't have any aerospace. Yes. Okay, I totally misunderstood. Yeah, and and the guys in south don't move, so like they can't do anything about Rosado if he's present. True. Uh, well, Rosado is in range of Micaiah or Lime, so I guess we can warp. Sure, we can try that turn one. Why not? There we go. There we you go. said earlier we have to warp, but and I, I I personally think we get to warp. You know, we have a lot <laughs> of these things left. Okay, is this gonna be. Let's see, can I, is there anything I can finagle here with the ranges? Where I like stay at a range of one or two of them, maybe? Like, this is a stone hoist. I don't care about those too much. I guess we'd be in range of this hoist, the hoist on no matter what. And mm -hmm. these, they move a little bit. I guess we kill the yeah. arrow spade in the south lane, so that flyers are just like uninhibited in the middle lane too, if they want to be. Yeah, and makes it's sense. just a fairly good one anyway. I'm not sure if we're out of one round with them anyway, but I guess we'll find out this way. Stonks has 31 mites. Yeah, he won. Surely the Stonks can do it, right? Surely. Yeah. I mean, also give him the hot player in case he doesn't. Ooh. Even better. Just in case. And if I kill one of the stronger ones, like the Stone... Ah, oh, fuck the Stone Hoist. I don't care about Stone Hoist. Stone Hoist never hits. It never Get hits. Get out of here. Oh, man. He's like three points over a mite. Okay. Yeah, he's he's got the Stonks. Yeah, why are we using the Forge one? Just pull out the like Sun Lance or something, man, at this point. <laughs> I mean, I gotta change Lance rank, am I right? 
Oh, that's true, true, true. We got, we got chain lance rank. Okay, so with Hoist Flom doing only 22 might, that's 8 damage to Queen. And that's the, mm -hmm. that's the weaker one. The Stone Hoist does 22 hits. So there's like a reasonable chance that Queen will still get hit. So maybe don't put Queen in range of 2, but maybe in range of 1. Like maybe just in range of the, the Stone Hoist. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's put it like at the edge. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. She can't do anything next turn anyway, though. No matter where I put it. Mm. We can also just move her in a little bit, and if we really want to, we can warp her in with like trade chaining and warp to Nime. Or yeah, from Nime we... to Mikaya. Yeah, I was about to say if this south lane is totally like settled, do we maybe just move Gold Mary into the center? Because like I know she's slow to reach the center, but she's slow to reach everywhere. Yeah. And like if the bottom is sorted, then maybe. We do have a lot of people in middle lane that are just totally fine though, so I feel like if she moves to the center, she's not gonna do anything regardless. We'll mm -hmm. see. Uh anyway, I'm breaking I think I just have the boss mark. That's probably should stay that way. Gatri could just move in free as long as he's not in Astrum's range. I'm just gonna call him Astrum until we know who it is. Uh, we'll just equip whatever we feel like it. Uh, Marth is going to village, but he doesn't want to be in ballista range too much. Stonehost is probably fine. There's like, I think he can survive from one, maybe two, 25 attack. Ah, uh, he survives one. That's a scary number. We could try because it it's turn one, and he does really want to get to the village ASAP with those boots. Plus, when he's on the, on the village, we can get the position from there and like start it making it more reliable. True. Martha's like basically attacking them in two turns if you think about it, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> That's like I don't want to turtle it too hard. Basically, I want to take an offensive. Maybe, um, is there like terrain we can take advantage of here, like a cliff, you know, forest? Oh, I've only could show him into a forest somewhere. I don't have the warps. I could, I could have warped him there, I guess, and get the turn one attack instead. Mm hmm. Do we just move? Do we just full move him and just hope he dodges enough? I mean, I guess so, yeah. Like, it seems... Well... They're definitely hmm. gonna go for Hope it. he dodges enough. Hmm. Do we do we have supports? Okay, like, certainly Marth has supports, right? He can, like, stack some avoid or yeah, something in order I to... Yeah, I think a lot of them are not mutual, though. Like, he supports everyone, technically. Oh, he has, like, outgoing supports, but very few incoming supports? Yeah, I, I want to say, of course, Sita has one, but Rutgar is undeployed, so that wouldn't be one, and supports are the same as they are in Vanilla, like, slot-wise. Mm -hmm. Who else would support Marth? I don't even know if there's anyone. I mean, we could put him like near as many people as possible, see if that helps anything. There we go. Let's just, let's just give it a go. Hopefully Marth lives. If not... You know what? What if we say it's turn one, so yeah. like everything is reliable, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> True enough. And I think if we move to Tana here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can get the recruit turn two. It's just very risky because it is in the boss range, I think. If we do that, yeah. So we kind of want to bait Astrum over, but we also kind of don't. So I'll just um, make it an option to recruit in turn two, and we'll see if we can route the whole group. Maybe with the help of the warp, warp staff, maybe Rosado can fly over and help out. Maybe maybe that will give us enough options. Did I miss anyone? I just um, game game freezing Micaiah. Oh yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> this unit who is uh, five, five, it is illegal to attack. Yeah, I think our animations should be off right now. Uh, by unit, there we go. Okay, it's time, for, it's time, it's time to forget all these whenever yeah. we recruit a new one. It's, it's really time for this. Come on. It's the classic. The classic. It wouldn't, it, honestly, you wouldn't be a Firebomb streamer if you didn't like immediately <laughs> recruit a unit and be like, oh, wait, I forgot to turn on the animation. Exactly. Like, Look, I, have been, I can even do the ones that are not deployed. How cool is that? Wait, seriously? Isn't that's this so cool. Great? I mean, yeah, it means we spend like, you know, three years in this menu, but like, we <laughs> do. True. Okay, we need to turn off Micaiah. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm oh. here. Where is she? She's second for the top. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I think this is the place I want to move from. Alright, Basilio. Alright. Let's test this serum. All right. Surprising Zero that they go crit for him. on Basilio. Oh, not surprising they go for him. They have a lot oh. of attacks on him. Well, he dodges. Is he the math? Good job, Marth. Go. Alright, two thieves. And that's it. That's, that's all right. the moves. Wait, what? That was it? Yeah, that was it. Cause... Dude, what were we afraid of? Why, why was that it anyway? This guy could have attacked Marth. Yeah, they could have attacked. But... What are they scared? What are they so scared of? They want to preserve weapon durability. I don't know. Like, these are expensive forges. <laughs> I know, right? That's so weird. Uh, I almost want to just use a safe point. We get, like, two anyway. Like, that was way too good of a turn one. But, like, nothing happens. Do is this what point? Gold Mary does? Is uses the save point? Bartray can use it? I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking Bartray. Uh, Gold Mary's yeah. too far away. There's, like, like, one in the house, so... In the house? Oh yeah, yeah. Like no, in, no, in, in our the, camp, yeah. Not in, the, in our house, yeah. yeah not, in our camp. Not the house. Okay. I, don't know. This is I was trying to be like <laughs> hip and jive, and it's like, wait a minute, this is just confusing. <laughs> okay, let's have a go at this. So, 
This one attacked. <laughs> this one did not. Or uh, he missed. Okay. One of these two things is true. We uh, have evidence. Well, it's the four move one, so I guess we just take that one out. The problem is... Uh, I should be able to kill with Basilio from range, right? Because he has range Surely, levels. right? Um, I mean, why don't we just... If it's uncertain, why don't we just use it first, right? Like, this is 57 hit, so why don't we just, like, attack with Basilio and then we... Yeah. D does Oscar's move even change? Does Basilio's move even change? Like, I'm pretty sure these. this is the only thing that these two units can do yeah. that's, like, useful. Yeah, it's either this or Basilio goes from close range with a more accurate but also back priority double axe with the one luck. Mm -hmm. uh, How's think... Oscar with a javelin? Yeah, I don't think you can combine with Basilio doing oh. like something more accurate. This is 16. Basilio would have to do 17 with an iron axe, 15. right? It's yeah, no. worth, which is not true. Doesn't look like it, unless the steel axe. No, yeah, right? or, can't, or can't warp happen. someone else over with like, or or Basilio <laughs> warps. Basilio over the ballisticians and then attacks from here with the Iron Axe. <laughs> but that puts Basilio in range of let's, this guy. Let's just do like Iron Bow. Where's our Porthia, by the way? Uh, it's on Gatri, I think. Okay. Oh, I should. Use... Wait, is this the right one? Yeah, this is. Wait, the no, one. this is the wrong weapon, right? Well, actually, didn't Oscar realized. do 28? Or was it 26? I think so. Or was it 26? I don't know. Well, no, we're okay, good. we're fine. We're good. Well, we're good. Close one. I think the Hand Axe was 57 hit. It's Basilio's those garbage ass weapon ranks. <laughs> Alright, Oscar close to leveling up. We don't have a Master Seal, but we do get one from the boss here. And I think uh, Oscar's probably next on deck for promotion, right? Unless it's Odin Dank, but you know. Yeah, one be... of those two's gotta be. I mean, Odin's only level 9. Oh, never mind. <laughs> doesn't fight that much? I don't know how to put it. How, how does this happen? We like. We literally kick like 100 butts with Odin, and then we look at him and he's level 9. Like, what? How does this happen? Know, so, right? is there some weird like AI thing where these units are neutral until you attack them or something? Or I've never seen recruit? this before. I've never. I feel like most people just don't just cheese the map a little bit and it just doesn't happen to them. Hmm. I'm thinking like, about. Put, hmm, I'm thinking hmm. about Titania recruits, attack with the hand axe, we finish with Gatri. And then Titania is in the boss range, sure, but that's like. Uh, it's a little dicey. Thunderbolt 10. Thunderbolt's 10. Who cares, right? What's the boss? Yeah, What's the boss, boss is 33. The thing has 7 rest. We don't care about the Thunderbolt. 33 is 22 HP off of her, so these people would do 27. The thing would have to dodge oh. two, one of the two stone hoists, but we do also get some attacks on them through. Well, new only one can attack her, right? Like. Is that so? Yeah, because they, they don't have two range. They have minimum three range, right? Um, so only that guy, and then the Thunderbolt, or whatever, the, the weapon we don't care about, and then yeah. the other thing. Yeah, only lost. one Stone Hoist, but I, I was thinking about this. Oh, that's just Thunderbolt, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's give yeah. it a go then. We did use the safe one after all. All right, let's recruit. Also, we get an extra attacking unit. Like, yeah, how exactly. bad can it be? Yeah, plus we get another attacking unit from uh, the village. So let's True. talk. Hello, Hello my, my lover. lover. <laughs> don't forget Who to could it be? Max. Who is Titania's lover? It's not real. <laughs> oh no. The guy I in the comment section is like, it's me. <laughs> Titania's my waifu. It is me. Nope. It actually. Do you know who it is? I have no idea. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Up. Uh, nope. No, oh, too Felix. Late. Felix. No way. It's Felix the Swordmaster from Three Houses, submitted by Blue William, sporting his Three Houses generic Swordmaster bases because scaling Felix when he is like very low recruitment was very difficult. So it's like, screw mm -hmm. it. Generic Swordmaster it is. Turns out Generic Swordmaster has a pretty high magic stat for 11 Sword users in this game. Most people can't use the 11 Sword very well because they just have 0 to 1 magic or so when they join and a lot of growth. Uh, Felix has this 8 base magic and 30% growth. And on top of that, he has a massive 17 strength as a Swordmaster and 14 speed, which we know from Titania is at least borderline good enough to double. So Felix has some nice offensive options there, both from the physical and the uh, special spectrum. He has a B rank in swords, almost an A rank in swords as well. Uh, I don't remember if that carried over from Astrum or if this is something I gave him. Uh, but either way, I'll take advantage as this is the game as is and this is how I'm going to play it. But he should also mm -hmm. be able to utilize the, the Armor Slayer uh, or uh, Worm Slayer or just a plain Silver Sword. Uh, the Mercurius, the A rank sword that has like 18 might in this game, doesn't join until later. And by join, I mean it comes on S in chapter 18, I want to say. So that will take a while to get online, but until then, I'm sure offense won't be a problem. Defense, maybe, with weapon triangle disadvantage against lances, as usual, is a bit of a bummer in this game. 30 HP and 12 v defense. It's not bad. Uh, it's like a, about on par with like Titania and Oscar, a little bit below that. Uh, but it's good enough to take at least one hit from most enemies. Once enemies get a lot stronger, I'm not sure if he'll be able to survive like two brave hits, but for now, he's sufficient to be on the front line. And 8 move is a lot more than Swordmasters get in a lot of other games. So just like most classes, he 
profits from Shadow Dragon having a higher movement stat in general, uh, and most units in general. So he'll be able to outrange some enemy classes, like kill generals with Eleven Sword, and just generally be a nice pain in the ass for the enemies to deal with. So I'm going to deploy him for a couple maps, we'll see how he plays. Right now I think he's going to do major damage to the decisions with the Eleven Sword, so I have some high hopes for Felix. Nice submission. What do you think? Yeah, I think this unit's pretty good. Uh, you mentioned they have three houses, generic Swordmaster bases. I will say this is only the minimums. It's missing the Swordmaster bonuses. So we're missing like two strength, four speed, and either one or two defense. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they, these numbers are still pretty good. I will say one thing about these stats is I'm actually like pretty pleased with the bulk, right? Like 12 defense, 30 HP is something where I can actually imagine this unit like surviving probably more attacks than most of what the rest of our team is able to do at this moment in time. Just because, like, I mean, we see Gold Mary is over here rocking, like, you know, 16 defense or something, but only 20 HP. And I don't really mind the math shifting in this direction. It's like, let's just get more HP, more defense. It's a lot of one-hit bulk, it's a lot of two-hit bulk, even a lot of three-hit bulk. I think this guy's actually pretty good for just, like, doing direct combat with multiple units at once, mm -hmm. if we need him to. At the moment, he only has 11 sword, which is pretty cool for having one-two range and doing magic damage, but I wouldn't really mind giving him a sword just for, like, stronger one-range combat. I think something like a silver sword, he's actually just, like, immediately one-rounding those things. Mm -hmm. So I think that's quite good. Uh, overall, I think this unit is quite nice. I'm very pleased with him. I think, yeah, let's let's deploy him. Let's have him go forth and kick butt. All right. We have his crack ship now, Felix Titania. Let's, let's rock it. Oh, um, boy. I... In LTCs, what you do with um, Astrum is you have him, like, you forge 11 sword for him. You just have him crit the boss to get rid of him, <laughs> and then just warp. Oh, really? LTCs. I don't think we can afford to do that. He does survive the boss. I don't think he survives everything around the boss, but he only takes two damage from the Thunderbolt, so I think he has the same lineup Titania does, where he just doesn't care enough about the enemy positions here. We can kill one of the Stone Hoists, too. We can try to kill this one, the upper mm -hmm. one. If we have I mean, isn't his bulk just better than Titania, right? Like, um, just outright. Well, not outright. Actually, for yeah, three hits, it's but, identical. But, yeah, about the same. Um, surely Odin Dark just tries to get a crit on this guy, right? This, uh, this yeah. Hoist. How does that fail? Let's see. He's gonna be in range of the Stone Hoists no matter what, so I think we just give it a go. Uh, maybe from mm -hmm. as close as possible so he's, like, near the next, uh, target. Tries to get a crit. Please, look at this guy. He just one rounds. Yeah. We... It doesn't have enough text to crit his fate's personal, so... Hmm. <laughs> yes! With the sword hand? I know. Sword hand! This guy has enough might, it's like, can I give him Emblem Salaka and like start echo killing two guys at once? Like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> Odin Dank. Alright, let's get another recruit on board with Marth. It's Marth, I presume. The name is Beck. I fought in a battle in Castle. I have no idea what she's talking about, but you do have the Thunderbolts, which, I mean, you said now, this battle is irrelevant. It only has 10 might, but it is effective against Ballisticians. Well, so. I mean, <laughs> let's not leave out such details. Yeah, I agree. Um,. Because this guy's attack is like pretty flexible, I think we should maybe try and ship the less flexible attacks first. Like, I don't know if Gaytree's even able to attack this guy. This is the only thing he can do. And, uh, I think he should do it. Let's Here we go. Rank. Okay, he's already at maxed out at Lance Rank, so we might as well just use the Porthia. That's right. Just to grind. We gotta break the Porthia it. too, yeah. right? So. Well, not break it. We need the last use for Medius, right? Oh yeah, true, true, true. Right. Although we no longer have the clone Porthia, so I'm not sure how relevant that's gonna be. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, he has, only has one attack here on this stone hoist, which I guess we might as well do. Probably. I just want to fight out one of the upper ones, I guess. That's an option, too. I don't think he can get the lower ones. That's fine, though. Those are taken care of. They didn't do anything. I mean, the upper stone hoist just, like, doesn't do anything, right? So Yeah, they, they just seem to be frozen in place. I don't know what happened to the AI. I swear, there's no way this, this, this the hacking changed what they do, right? They just... The AI? They just Maybe it's the... I mean, you, you said everyone just, like you know, runs General Sedgar forward because he doesn't take damage. And then, like, probably everyone also plays Action Skip. So maybe just literally in the, you know, 15 <laughs> years of this game existing, nobody noticed that no they don't attack. No one else played this game. Okay, yeah. We, we can warp Geese to get one more Ballista kill this turn with that combination. Mm -hmm. I think Felix... Wait, can we transfer Rosado to the center here? Because, yeah. like, what, what's in the south here? It's just a Stone Hoist and a Hoist Flom who apparently don't attack. I guess the Hoist Flom's dangerous. should probably kill that. Yeah, I think the Stone Hoist just didn't have any targets last turn, mm -hmm. right? But now Look he definitely the does. Form shoot. Oh, th this Hoist Farm is actually like threatening Titania and whatnot, right? Like, remember when we did the Titania math in the yeah. center and like, oh, she lives this, this, yeah. this, and then we forgot the Hoist Farm. Maybe we just kill the Hoist Farm and then we can move Gold Mary into the bottom to finish yes. off the rest there. I agree. 
I'm not sure if Rosado is fine with the Stone Hoist, but his avoid is like the highest of the army, so he's probably okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, now we get it for ourselves. Which I guess means Beck can use it too to attack something, because he's next to Marth anyway. Might as well take it out. Uh, I think we should probably, if we're going to feed kills, we should probably feed Beck over Felix, because he gets a lot more XP. Um, I feel like go on a mountain or something. Oh, he can go into a forest, but then he can't attack, which is kind of sad. I mean, like, what is Felix going to do really get in there? I wonder if we should have... Oh, okay, no, I was about to say, I wonder if we should have, like, left this unit unrecruited to keep the thieves moving right, but I think that's only something I say because I'm so uncertain as, like, what do the thieves do when there's no village? I'm not sure what they will do, but if they attack, then, yeah, Felix or Tatania might be a bit of trouble. We should keep them together for their supports at the very least. Mm -hmm. Maybe hide mm -hmm. yeah. a little bit behind Tatania so that they suboptimize their targets. Maybe I kill guess so, yeah. Upper Stone Hoist with Tatania and um, Beck. Said that. Oh, we need to turn oh, the animations on. <laughs> we're, we're fire streamers. We're fire streamers. We're official fire streamers now. Where is he at? At the Felix. very bottom, probably. Or I can't go to the bottom. Oh, found it. Oh, back to. Oh, back well, to. Right? Yeah. 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 Back to the menu. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> you said it before I did. Back. There we go. Okay. And uh, back in black. Fortunately, our bell stations have high defense too, so we don't have to worry about them being an enemy fire as long as they're not in range of thunderbolts. We only have like ten thunderbolt uses. This is one of them. That's fine. Like, yeah. What? A, what? A... It's not that what are you gonna do? Not use the thunderbolt? Like... Yeah. There's not enough decisions in this enemy, like any decisions in this game. Plus, we get an item later that like makes item durability a not a non-issue, but like less of a concern. Let's put it that way. Yeah, certainly. I mean, it could represent like ninety-one warp casts, but also <laughs> it could represent maybe something different if you want. Yeah. Uh, stone hoist. I think you're thinking of a different thing, but both of those things are have the same argument, right? They, they reduce the need for durability. I was thinking of the, the round thing. You were thinking of the staffy thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure, the round thing. Oh, the round thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the spherical one. I was like, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah, this thing is just okay. Uh, wait, how, how did my how did, how did, how did position run out of attacking targets? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see it. The wooden cavalry. 50 hit. 50-50. Nice dodge, Ooh, Titania. Simple. This is only turn two, by the way. We still have that same yeah. point, so... <laughs> Odin dodge. You know. And Basilio. They're spreading their targets nicely. Hopefully the thieves don't attack. No, very generously. They, yeah, ju they just want you to use Fortify, right? Like, that's all they want you to do. But if they wanted to, for to Fortify, they should have Fortify in the game. Oh, true, true. That I is a good step one, actually, using Fortify. Is having step Fortify. Step one, use Fortify. Yeah. All right, Geese does nothing to these guys. I think it's going to be another Oscar Silver Lance here. Let's go. Oscar Silverlands plus Basilio. How many chapters in a row have we done this, Strat? Like, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying we should come up with something new. It clearly works. I think I just gave Oscar to Silverlands for the first time. Sick level up, by the way. Holy. But uh, yeah, we've definitely been comboing with Basilio a lot. He hasn't grown a whole lot, though. But he's about to get another level, so maybe finally he'll be good. This uh, is this is going to be finally the Basilio level, right? 77 hit is... twice or 57 hit once out of two. This, right? Got to be this. Actually, what's like, okay, so 77 is, oh gosh, I should just be able to figure that out, but whatever. We got it. We got. The I got to like game. square something twice through the math. <laughs> what were you saying about Basilio? Something, something, something. Less crit chance, if matters. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> sure. Okay, can we wipe the center? Can we kill the boss? With all this stuff in the way, probably not, right? We probably can't Can kill we the kill boss. the boss? I mean, we have sword hand here, like, what's the issue? Okay, so if we kill this battle station with sword hand, and we we won round, right? We just have sword mm -hmm. hand. Then Felix can reach the boss, and Tatania can reach the boss, probably? Because wait, they, yes. they save some squares. Okay, they so both can, right? Tatania has Grail's Urban or a Silver Axe, depending on what we feel like it. 24 What attack. is the Urban, anyway? Is it a Forged Iron or a Forged Steel or I what? I want to say Forged Iron. It's E rank, so it's got to uh, be Iron. So it's 12. Yeah, got to be Iron. Silver's 14. So we do 24, 26 to the boss. So with the gates defense providing two, that's like not a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. It's like eight damage per hit, but we do double. Felix Love and Sword is 16 magical attack. From what I can tell, I think. Let me just double check. Six might 14 attack. Yeah, I think it just uses. Huh, I always thought it was. It says six might, and he has. Oh, he has B swords. Never mind. It's still a sword. Yeah, yeah. So it's 16 attack, actually, like it says. So that's actually like a lot of damage to him. That's 32. So if Satana hits both her attacks, I think the boss is just dead. 
So let's try it. Let's just jump on this guy. Yeah. Uh, Gatri could Unless, use the save um, points to rig it. Uh, true. Also, okay, so I, I think our... You know, ironically, our Ballisticians actually have very few targets, so we should probably just, like, use them first. Rather than using Sword Hand on the thing. Like, you know, even though I kind of, you know, usually scoff at the whole try and preserve durability on PRS sure. type of thing. Like, what if we actually, like, tried to conserve some durability on the Sword Hand by sure. using... Our forge things. Yeah, sure. We can use our our to be forge ballast ballistas instead of using the sword hand. Yes. <laughs> Preserve different kind of forge weaponry. All right, go back. Please hit. And now uh, you're looking around. You have you have the problem of like all of your weapons are super good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. It's like, oh, I want to conserve something. I don't remember which of the ballistas have better growth than the other. I think Jake might be the one with better growth. I don't remember for sure. But Beckus the better mm. bases. Beckus has better skill by a little bit, but. Better skill, better Jake everything. is better. It, it's like a CS support, so it usually evens out in a normal game. It's really the skill that you're looking at in these guys. It's like, I just want to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. He's so close to one-shotting. What a beast. Hmm. Is, is no way can got you one-shot these? Sure, oh, he like zero, if had, right? If he had a silver, he could. If he had fourth, yeah. No way, right? No. No. Golly, this guy does so much damage. What? Yeah, insane. Let's uh, reserve these two guys for the save point and just like dive on the boss instead because that's really uncertain, right? Yeah, uh, I was just trying to think: should I like try to sword hand a thief? Should I do the save point before that? Because we're definitely using Titania and um, Felix on the boss, right? Mm -hmm. Six times two, only one has to hit, I think. No, we're doing two. I think, I think we have to hit so... both, or use silver well, and hit once. Let's line up the Felix combat though. Uh... That's pretty good odds. We should save point though because it's so crucial that they hit, right? Yes, yeah. I agree. Do we just get a Gatry and have Odin like on reserve for the thieves? I guess so. I think they're pretty equal in this regard. I yeah. think how about this? I want to say point with Gatry because if it turns out that we need to like retreat with Odin, then we can retreat with Odin, right? But sure. Gatry, there's no way we need to retreat with Gatry. Okay. I, I can't imagine the world where that's relevant, but like if it is, uh -huh. like Okay, they I don't think they built up support yet, Felix and Tizina, even though they're already supposedly married. So mm -hmm. I don't think it matters which we move first. Let's get it! Felix MVP already. Woo! Remove Sheesh. this threat, Titania. Get in here. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit one of these. Axe. This is so good. Get out of here. <laughs> nice silver X. Your victories are numbered! We'll see about that. I do number my victories because I have so many of them that it's easier to keep track that way. Oh, That's right. Strength. We have the epilogue screen. Strength, speed, master seal. Ooh, we can promote Oscar now. Get in there, Oscar. Mm. Okay, so now we only have to worry about one Thunderbolt and then these two. I, I guess Stone theoretically they space. could like do something really funky, but like if the thieves suddenly decided to start attacking, then maybe they'd be in trouble. But I think for now they survived all the positions that we that they need to. Mm -hmm. uh, Rosado can kill a thief if this is a one round, but this is most certainly not a one round. We just have Rosado feet. <laughs> Rosado and Goldmary, that they they should work together on one enemy at least, right? That that's like. They, they gotta do that. They're, That's they're right, the cannon. Well, it'd be cannon for like Rosado and enemy both attack this guy and like even combined it and kill, right? There we go. That'd be the, <laughs> oh, no. the real recreation. Uh, Wait, can Rosado fail to kill this guy? Yeah, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm wondering too. I don't think he can fail. Mm -hmm. I think he's too good. They have more yeah. good weapons. Even the javelin just gets there. Well, I guess Gold Mary's sure. is gonna get some chippy XP. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh. I should've used Silver Sword. No! Gold Mary no. should have faith in Queen. Alright, we, we don't. Do we have to kill him? I guess we don't have to kill him. We just need him. <laughs> it's a stone hoist, man. Who cares? As long as, like, Rosado is out of range of the aerospace. I guess Rosado can kill a thief, potentially? Yeah. What's the aerospace again? It's the upper one? Okay, it's the top care. one, yeah. Oh, that, that guy doesn't reach anything. Wow. Yeah. And the thieves are nice, because we could try to get Odin to promotion level this way. I don't know what they're going to do with these thieves, but they, they haven't attacked yet, so I kind of think like they won't anyway. No, true. Wait, what did they drop? One drops a Rider's Pain, what was the other one drop? Nothing. Uh, nothing. He, he drops... Exists. He exists. The, yeah. He, he drops the not village kill if you kill him. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'll leave this for Gold Mary. I want Gold Mary to get like, one more kill at least. I'll just uh, mm -hmm. buy it here. I don't need to kill the thieves yet. And Nime should definitely stay out of range of enemies. Odin, I guess I can chip a thief. Shouldn't be in any danger here. Odin Dank. The Fire of Justice. 30, 10 XP. Uh, this is all free now. I don't have a Physic here, so just move forward, I guess. For all it's worth. Good job, Archer. You really used that save point pretty well. I know. It's really handy. Definitely a good game for Funky Duty, right? 
Gotcha shield does not conduct electricity clearly. Mm -hmm. I think we've been hit by a single ballista yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think ballista is the only one who took hits yet. Yeah, I mean, well, engage for just now. Like, who cares? Mm -hmm. Easy. It's easy. the kind of thing where you you go into this map thinking like, wait, oh, they do attack. Um, I guess I maybe attacking them aggroes them. I don't know what maybe I don't know. Maybe nope. destroying the boss and the village. Let's it's see what probably the other guy does. doubles Odin now. Yep. Okay. Bomb. Probably. It was no. nice knowing you, Odin. Unless. Oh uh, no. He does nope. Not. Okay. No. It was nice knowing you. No. I made my mistake. So I guess we like move Rosado up there or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess so. Did I use a save point this turn? What turn are we even on? Uh, you used a save point on the on the turn. Okay. Well, you did use one with uh, Gaytree, remember? Yes. Oh wait, was it this turn? Uh, if if you reload, you'll you'll be you'll be pleased for the save point went to. Uh, okay. Like, okay. Good. Turn it on now. No way! You didn't record that? Nope. Okay. Wait. Is this game two RN? <laughs> yep. This is two RN, and you missed double eighty eight. <laughs> I don't. I double missed eleven sword on reload. <laughs> it was tragic. Like, Almost as tragic as not. You didn't capture like a one in twenty five hundred, dude. Like, come <laughs> <No>. on. <laughs> I missed the RNG event of the year. Oh my I'm god. So sorry. I missed gaming content. <sighs> it's fine. We just get a Titania level of strength defense again, right? Nope. Oh, that is so bad. Punished in every way possible. Okay, I guess I'll just kill one with, oh, with, with Rosado then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't. Sense. Oh, that's not a kill. Hmm, kill. Maybe sure. Odin reaches. You know what? Actually, it's fine because now Odin kills on the counter. Oh, true. Actually, I was, I was big spring striding all along. Fire away, Odin. And then we use the Silver Sword with Gold Mary. I don't know. Like, oh yeah. Sure, surely we don't need to conserve unforged Silver Sword uses like anymore. Okay. Surely, right? I could sell it for bigger forges after I That's bought it in true. the shop without the Silver Sword. <laughs> it's actually true. Actually, you could sell. I was like, I thought I had ranges off. What the hell? But then I realized there was just not no any no no enemies. <laughs> There was just nothing that they'd be afraid of. Like, I keep thinking, oh, surely there should be enemies somewhere. Uh, I guess I'll Physic Basilio for the next sure. map. Sure, gotta get that Nime XP. Very important investment. All right, okay. let's see if this works. Same thing. Still conducts electricity. Uh, Odin, is he okay? No, we got hit this time. Come on, game. Not like this. These are gonna kill Odin now, I think. This is a stupid stone hoist hit. Just advantages, I guess. Yeah. I <laughs> Shit, I don't think I reclass him to, to Merc, no. What is the class? Samurai? Yeah, Samurai. No. For the advantage. Odin, no! What if you just, like, don't attack with Odin? Like... But... but. Okay, fine. I know this like breaks your brain, but you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, surely you you do something about this boss, right? That's... Well, just I, I would kill the boss. I would just not not act thieves. Oh, the thieves! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Hey, worth it. All right, worth this it. is the one. This is the one. Let's just. Uh... What else did I even do here? Marth. So just you're saying don't attack with Odin, it will make him live. Also, just maybe don't put him in range of both these. Just yeah, you put him in range of like one, I don't know. Yeah. And then well let's see if Gold Mary crits this guy. So Gold Mary crits this guy, it's actually like way easier. Nope. Okay, didn't happen. That's fine. Okay, so does Rosado do anything? Hit a thief? Uh hit a thief in the back is probably okay. Stab him in the back. None of these people matter. <laughs> oh, Gatry dodged. Rosado dodge. Tina dodge. <laughs> Odin crits. Let's go. See, this is this is definitely how you feed the kill to Odin. Oh, where do you think you're going? I guess he did have a target. Got to feed this Felix. My I'll say the Felix sword. growths are probably pretty good too. We yeah. got to restore the Swordmaster bonuses, right? We got to. I think they're his base growths as a what's the class called? Noble. Yeah, Noble. Noble. Noble? What? He's not a noob. Don't call him a noob. Why'd you call him a noob? I know. You called him a noob. <laughs> nice. Don't gaslight me. 
<laughs> I have you on camera. <laughs> I mean, I know you can edit the video. You can erase that part. You can like bleep it out or something. Good idea. Thanks. <laughs> that was a good idea by me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just uh, the comment section will never know. <laughs> okay. Like, man, why is Raisins rewriting history over here? <laughs> never mind, you're the video editor. Like, okay. Get him out of here. Let's right, say we need this forged Levin sword so we can one around finally. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should forge it next chapter instead of this uh, this Thunderbolt. Because whenever we ever see Bell's decision again, after I think after it's they'll never show our face again with Bell's decisions. Yeah, and, and and if they do, we have an unforged Thunderbolt, which is like surely this is enough, right? Okay, like, Rosado, these don't seem like the hardest enemy ever. Right, Rosado, I won't defeat the kill to to hang out. It's fine. I'll just I'll just kill with my Irvin something. Wait, Irvin is less than the Steel Axe than the Silver Axe? In this game, it is because it's a forged okay. iron. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake okay. Irvin. Let's go, Queen. It's an Irvin, Irvin. Get this kill. The, no, the suburban. No level up on the queen that I'm not promoting anytime soon. Is are we out of enemies? I hear victory music. Yep. Uh yeah, we're out of enemies. No okay, more cool. wooden cavalry. No more wooden horses. No more haunts. Five turns. Epic speed. Go us. Let's get it. Oh, we didn't visit the lore house, I guess. That's, lore uh, house? You wanna see know. the lore house? Well, I mean Can we visit it with someone else? We could probably Surely there are some Surely. other units who can visit the lore house, right? Alright, lore house time. All right, what do they have to say to us? Balsitians are really only vulnerable to one type of weapon, the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Fresh out of Thunderbolts, then you'll have to just dart in and hit him at close range. Okay, thanks for the tip, old man. I definitely had time to visit that house while I was doing that. Yeah, no. I'm sure, yeah, like... Look at the location really... of that house. It's like, if, you, yeah. if you're here, you're getting attacked by all Balsitians, if the eye was it's working. Just like... Are, are we really struggling against the Ballisticians if you visit the house? Like, man, they, these Ballisticians are really hard. I think instead of uh, attacking the Ballisticians up close, I'm going to go visit this house. Maybe that'll give me some help. I'm struggling so hard with them. all these Ballisticians. Let me spend a turn <laughs> yeah. between all the Ballisticians. The lore house. <laughs> well, then, that was less tough than I expected, but for all the reasons I did not expect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time we have to. It's like the AI at the start. Like, what's this? Yeah, what was that? They just didn't attack at all. Silly, mm -hmm. silly little bell stations. And then the ones that attacked did that like, just hit Bell Silly and did nothing. Anyway, next time I think is Land of Sorrow. That's the chapter where we get Katria and mm -hmm. uh, Pala. And I can tell you at least one of these units is replaced. And you already know oh, who nice. it is if you watch previous episodes. So watch it if not. Also, reminder that I'm going to be putting up slash half put up at this point signups for the sequel to this playthrough the fe 12 new mystery version so i'll be taking submissions for that s tiers on my patreons go first and then we'll just work down the list of all the tiers so if you want to support me and if you like the content and if you want to have your favorite units in fire emblem new mystery of the emblem heroes of light and shadow then please submit a character and sign up link is in the description thanks everyone for watching raisins thank you for your company yeah for sure it was fun all right see you next time See you next time.